following is a production of Cary TV, the town of Cary's government access channel. live without it. It may be our most precious and natural resource. That's why it's important that we not only have enough water, but that it is safe and clean. It's funny, but if you think about it, what exactly is clean water? It might look clean, but is it? It's not simply that this water is good or this water is bad. So let's take a few minutes to talk about what water quality really is, what you can do to protect your water quality, and what steps the town of Cary is taking to make sure that we all have clean, safe water. The first thing to realize is what goes into our creeks and streams matters because that water, whatever else is in it, makes its way down to our lakes, which is where we get our drinking water. And for the town of Cary, that's Jordan Lake. Sure, the town treats its lake water before you and I drink it, but the more sediment, chemicals, and pollutants that are in the raw lake water, the harder and more expensive it is to make it clean and safe. I want to know if the water's good enough to serve my kids. Oh, is it okay for swimming? Or bunny? Or fishing. Water quality is the term used to describe the chemical, physical, and biological characteristics of water. And the quality of our water depends on virtually everything we see around us. The weather, the dirt under our feet, the trees, the grass in our yard, and most importantly, you and me. That's right, you and me. Human activity has a big impact on the quality of our water. By taking a few simple steps, you can help make sure our water is safer and cleaner. You can start by correctly disposing of your trash, especially motor oil, grease, and household hazardous products. It's easy, the town offers curbside collection. Just call our customer service number at 469-4090 to schedule your pickup. Remember, Never, ever pour oils, grease, or other hazardous materials down the drain, especially the storm drain, because storm drains lead to nearby creeks and streams. The best filter for our water isn't found inside your kitchen. It's the dirt and soil right outside your front door. Our goal is to have rain and other water return slowly back to creeks, streams, and aquifers. We want the water to move slowly so that it doesn't take the soil with it into our waterways. Consider reducing the amount of solid impervious surfaces around your home. Instead of pouring concrete, try wooden or loose stone walkways, or better yet, mulch walkways. Next, conserve water. Pay attention to our alternate day watering policy. Don't let water run when you're not using it, and consider a landscape that requires less water. Many of us like to garden or work in our yards. Try using compost, manure, or even grass clippings instead of chemical fertilizers. Not only will our groundwater stay cleaner, but your vegetables will taste even better. Finally, if you see anyone dumping anything into our streams, sewers, or storm drains, it's probably illegal. So let the town know by calling 469-4012 anytime, day or night. The quality of our water depends on all of us. Jefferson said, eternal vigilance is the price of freedom. Well, it's also the price of clean, tasty water. When it comes to protecting water quality, you can count on your town government doing its part by meeting or exceeding the tenets of the Safe Drinking Water Act. To keep the quality of our water high, we routinely flush our water distribution systems by opening fire hydrants. The town also closely monitors the quality of our water. We take and test samples every day at the water treatment plant, and we take and test samples at more than a dozen locations throughout our water system every week. This gives us consistent feedback to make sure our water is safe and of high quality. Surfaces like roads, parking lots, sidewalks, and even buildings and homes can affect water quality. That's why the town has adopted our best management practices, or BMPs, 
to protect water from sedimentation and pollution and to guide property owners in limiting impacts to water quality. And when these surfaces are created, vegetation is replaced and the area which groundwater can be absorbed is significantly reduced. This can lead to runoff, stormwater runoff that is, and that stormwater carries pollutants straight into our creeks and streams. BMPs require that developers use fewer solid surfaces. Bioretention areas, constructed wetlands, natural channels, and rain gardens are just a few BMPs used to help remove pollutants before they can reach our streams. BMPs also ensure that developers use erosion control devices, such as silt fences. These temporary barriers are designed to keep sediment on construction sites where runoff could be a problem. They reduce the likelihood of erosion by decreasing the speed of runoff over a wide area. And to make sure our BMPs are working the way they're supposed to, town staff inspects them regularly. The town has also led the state in ensuring that our water is protected by using buffers to our creeks and streams. 100-foot buffers are required on all major streams. 50 foot on minor streams. That's why we've implemented our innovative water conservation program. Cary was the first in the area to start an alternate day watering schedule. And Spruce is our premier citizen volunteer beautification program. And finally, we make sure that everything the town puts back into streams and creeks meets or exceeds state and federal safety standards. The National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System program helps control industrial discharge of water into lakes, ponds, streams, and rivers. This ensures that the water is properly treated, removing pollution and waste before it's discharged into our waterways. Conventional pollutants controlled by the NPDES are water from our sinks and toilets and wastewater from commercial and industrial facilities like oil and grease. Controlling non-conventional pollutants can have a significant impact on our water. Some industrial, municipal, and agricultural wastewater contains nitrogen and phosphorus, which can be discharged directly into water bodies. The town ensures that any business that generates non-conventional pollutants has the required special permits from the Environmental Protection Agency, which establishes monitoring on wastewater and compliance with federal laws. So as you can see, water quality is important and we all have a role to play in making it clean and safe. Sure, it's the right thing to do, but it's also the law. Learn more about all that the town does and what you can do to help by visiting townofcary.org. If you have questions or concerns about the quality of our drinking water or to share your thoughts, just call 469-4090. By working together, we can ensure that Cary remains one of the best places to work, play, grow, live and raise a family in the nation. This has been a production of Cary TV. Visit the Town of Cary's website at townofcary.org.